And now it's time for some airflow and suction testing. But we have a couple of bags to try out too. So right here in the middle, we have genuine Royal HEPA bags, type B. I just got these in yesterday. Then we have some genuine Royal type B paper bags that are yellow. And then we have a generic, looks like it's more or less a HEPA bag, but there's no markings on it whatsoever. Absolutely nothing. These bags right here are fully marked. They say HEPA, they say Royal, you know, blah, 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 the whole thing. Full tilt boogie. So we're going to test the genuine HEPA B Royal, and we're going to test the paper bag ones. And I'm just going to assume that the generic HEPA ones pretty much are going to match the genuine Royal ones. Because honestly, I've taken a close look at them. They don't seem to be significantly different. I just, I can't really tell one way or another. And we'll do particle tests too. But for these airflow and suction tests, let's see what we can actually get. And we also need to find out uh, what my loaded line voltage is and how much current this 9 amp Royal actually draws. Now, of course, this isn't under load. This is static testing, like maybe you could say bare floor testing. There's no particular load on here. Uh, it's going to get really loud. peak. The handle is reclined. And of course, we're starting out with the genuine type B Royal bag. So let's see what this turns into. Yep, it's going to be high. All right. 6043 times our conversion factor. And we are at, let's round it and say 158 CFM. So that is very, very high. And you saw how much current is actually drawing. So it's a little more than 9 amps. You should also know that the actual area uh, of the nozzle itself is much smaller than a Kirby. Uh, I measured it yesterday. If I'm remembering right, it's just a little over 20 some odd square inches. Where a, a Kirby, a typical newer G-series Kirby, is much larger than that. I think it's like 33 or so square inches. It's much larger uh, openings in this. So this is a tremendous amount of airflow to have in such a small area. All right, uh, let's go and put one of these yellow paper bags in because I know some people will probably run these. Let's switch the bags out and see if there's an airflow difference. Now I have the yellow paper bags installed, and you can see we definitely have some printing on there. Royal, Type B, all the different specifications. And on the genuine Royal HEPA bags, that also has a bunch of printing on it. And on the generic bags that fit the Royal, there's just nothing anywhere. see what kind of CFM we have with the yellow paper bags.
contact. large bag and even though it's paper it's not really that much of a difference so we've gone from about 158 CFM down to about 156 CFM so I can't really say that I feel much of a need to test the generic one I'm sure it's going to be fine and if it's a CFM one way or another no big deal but I definitely want to test it for particle emissions that's going to be um, where the rubber meets the road there. So now I'm going to uh, switch back to the HEPA bag and we're going to do suction tests. If this is going to be super loud, please turn your volume down. view the footage but I think I saw about 35 inches of lift and if you remember the Kirby Avalier I think that was about 30 inches of lift so definitely more suction of course this machine right here does not have a removable head and the Kirby does so there's an extra seal in there that the Royal doesn't have all right all right one last test that I need to do on this particular machine is a no bag test that way we can actually see what kind of restriction, say, a HEPA bag or even a paper bag has. So this is a no bag test. So we're looking at about a hundred and eh, let's call it 160 CFM. So you put a high flow bag through like this and you lose maybe like eh, maybe two CFM. It does depend on how you pack the inner bag in the outer bag. So if you're really careful, maybe the difference instead of say two CFM end up being like maybe one CFM, but you get the idea. You can put a bag in like this and it doesn't really appreciably drag the CFM down. 